Look at this dumbass street. Peaceful, quiet, completely useless past 6 p.m. Why? Because some dumbass decades ago said, hey, let's make it illegal to build anything but dumbass houses here. Welcome to single use zoning. Brought to you by dumbass generations of bureaucratic dumbasses who thought separating dumbass homes from dumbass businesses was genius. Let's look at this dumbass house. Let's pretend your dumbass lives here. What happens if your dumbass wants coffee or needs groceries? What if you want to impress your dumbass gym crush or need to commute to your dumbass job all miles away? Congrats, dumbass. You just invented traffic. Every time you drive 15 dumbass minutes to buy some dumbass bread, remember? It's because some dumbass outlawed bakeries next to your house? I'm not even joking. It's literally illegal in most of the United Dumbass States to have any kind of retail inside dumbass single-use neighborhoods. Now, this is mixed-use zoning. Homes and businesses on the same dumbass block. Revolutionary? No, just not dumbassery. And guess what? Dumbasses, mixed-use zoning lets dumbass cities collect both property tax and sales tax from the same dumbass plot of dumbass land. Double the money for your dumbass city, dumbass. Why do we still follow and create dumbass zoning laws like it's 1952? You know what else was big in 1952, dumbass? Lead paint and asbestos. Does your dumbass want to keep using those too? Thanks for listening, dumbass. Like, follow, and subscribe for more dumbass city planning content. Share this with your dumbass squad and comment which dumbass city needs more dumbass mixed-use zoning.